in this lecture we will continue with ball impact problem so in the previous lecture we had created the geometry and we have created the mesh in the ball plate impact problem so let's go to elastina so if you want to work along with me you can go to this file click on open click on elastina keyword file and we will open up the file that we had saved earlier that is ball impact underscore one so select this file and open in this file we can see we have created the mesh after that if we go to this steps we have created geometry and then mesh after that we need to define the material properties so if we go to the material properties here we have defined the material like this the plate and the ball for the plate we are going to use this material card that is mat 024 mat piecewise linear plasticity so to define the properties of plate we are considering up to the plastic limit in case of ball we only taking the elastic ball now to define the plasticity we need density young modulus poisson's ratio yield to stress and then tangent modulus and after that for the ball we are going to take mat 001 mat elastic density young modulus and poisson's ratio are given so in this problem as we already know we are working in the units of meters and all these given time and all these given values are in millimeters so 1 megapascal equal to 1 newton mm square so when we convert this in meters we get the we need to input the value 10 to the power 6 or in the fps software we put e to the power 6 similarly when we have gigapascal then we need to use e to the power 9 so if we go to the material properties we can see we have general stress strain curve when we consider only the plastic properties of the material we are going to define all the properties up to this plastic limit so here we can see up to this curve this is the elastic zone and when we want to input the plastic zone we need to go further into this curve and we will consider this plastic curve this is plastic zone similarly there is one more term that is called yield stress and tangent modulus so yield stress is basically the maximum stress after which the plastic zone starts so this is the point of yield stress similarly when we want to define the plasticity we have multiple options like we can define like we can define different point for this curve or we can define that is called tangent modulus tangent modulus is basically the slope or the area under this curve at this point of yielding at the point from which the plasticity starts so you can find all the details about this in any book of material science i'm just going to give you a basic overview now let's go to elastina and define the material properties now to define the material in elastina we need to open the keyword manager for this i will go to this option of fem go to model and part and here we can see keyword manager open this now inside this keyword manager it is going to show all the properties that we have already created for this model like we have created element keyword node part and title i will go to this all and then we need to go to m part so go to m and here you will see mat now click on this plus symbol along with this mat 
and here you can see all the material library in LSDyna. So in LSDyna, we have more than 100 types of different materials. Now we need to go to our specific material. So I will go to this number 24. In the number 24, this is the most general material that is defined in LSDyna piecewise, piecewise linear plasticity. I will make a double click on this. Click on add. Insert the name that is plate material. So let's say that is plate plastic material. After that we need to input the values. So density. So density is 7850. And then here we have to define Young Modulus. So Young Modulus is 209 e to the power 9 Poison's ratio is 0 0.29 So whenever I click on any of the box it will highlight the corresponding value. So, so when I click on this PR here it is going to show Poison's ratio. So after that we need to define the yield stress so we know yield stress is 500 megapascal so 500 e to the power 6 and then we need to define the tangent modulus so tangent modulus is 10 gigapascal so 10 e to the power 9 okay rest of the properties if we want to define the points we need to define this eps1 eps2 es1 etc so we will cover this later in the course. Now I will click on this accept. Click on done. So when I click on the accept you will see the material here. It means we have properly defined the material. I will click on done. Now for the ball I will go to this mat 001. You can see 01 elastic. Double click on this. Click on add. Now give it some name like this is ball elastic. So density is 2850. Young modulus is 72 gigapascal. So e to the power 9. And poison's ratio is 0 0.3. Here we don't need to define any more values. So just click on accept and click done. So when any of the property is defined here, it is going to highlight into this blue color. You can see also here in the 24 number it is going to show the blue color. Now click on done. If you want to find out more about all these material properties what you can do is go to your C drive and here the LSDyna is installed LSDyna and go to manuals inside this manuals open this we have three manuals one two and three open up this model open up this manual number one Inside this manual number 1, you will see all the manuals and all the keyword in detail. For the material, we need to open that is volume 2. Inside this volume 2, we have mat. Click on this plus symbol. And let's say I want to find out all the properties of mat 24. So click on mat 24 here. And now you can read everything about this. So this is mat 24. Mat piecewise linear elasticity. So here everything is defined in details. So you can read about this by yourself. So after that we had defined the material. We need to define the boundary conditions. Boundary condition means in this problem we have to specify two boundary conditions. One is we need to fix this plate. And then we need to apply the velocity to this ball. So the ball is moving with a velocity of 10 meter per second. 
in the perpendicular direction to this plate and this plate is fixed in all the four sides. Now let's go to LS Dyna. Now to apply the boundary conditions, I will go to this FEM model and part and then go to create entity. So we will continue this in the next lecture.